Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today we are here for another review. And if you like the reviews I make, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. It's really important for me to grow on YouTube. So, today I'm reviewing this pen that came from China. And, and this is a, a full even, a fully one, sorry, 017 Starry Night. And this pen is uh, the 017 model. Uh, there, are, oh, there are by now some reviews online. It is made of uh, resin which has a, a very strange smell. It smells inside of the cap. It smells like if it was made of glue, which is strange, but... And the, it has very beautiful swirls in the, in the cap and the barrel. And it is called Starry Nights because it has some blue, blue, black, violet, red, yellow tones to it. And it reminds us of the painting from Van Gogh, the Starry Nights. A beautiful pen, it is quite big, very rounded, so it can roll off a table, but if you want you can buy these separately, they are quite cheap, and if you do like this, they will not roll anywhere unless you force them to, but usually they will not roll anywhere. These fit fine, it's nice to see the pen like this, it's not a clip, although you could try to have the tail of the snake to have it like a clip, but okay, let's forget about it, I really don't use it, but I like it, and I like to see the pen with it, but when I take the pen to work to write with it, I don't use the the snake. So, let's see the, the pen, it, ha it has a typical cigar shape, it has a step here between the barrel and the cap. There is nothing on the top of the cap, nothing on top of the barrel, no engravings, anything. So it's a very simple pen. When you uncap and it rotates to uncap the, the pen, it has a quite long section. You have the threads here, which are long also, and they are not sharp at all. You can hold the pen here, but it has kind of a big step there, not too big, but it has a step, so I think the most comfor comfortable place to hold the pen is on the section. And because it is really big, you can choose where you want to hold it. The nib is a number 6 nib, made of steel, and it is branded fully one. And let me try to show it to you. Here you can see it is a medium nib. And it has this uh, simple design. I think it is a nice nib, it is smooth enough, nothing particular about it, but it is a good nib. And it has a very usual, very normal feed for it. Inside the cap it is very simple. Also very thick material there, which is nice. It gives us the impression it will uh, survive for a long time and it has no inner cap it's the the way that the cap is turned makes it uh, an integral inner cap to make the nib make sure the nib doesn't dry and you unscrew the barrel and you can find these kind of these Chinese converters that look like the Lamy converters. It takes international cartridges, not Lamy cartridges. So this is the overall uh, of the pen. Let's see how it compares to some other pens. And for comparison purposes I have some pens. I usually compare these with the Parker Centennial Dufold and the Lamy Safari pen and you can see it is a comparable size, just a little big, just a little bit bigger than those. 
But I have to compare it, because of the materials and shape, with the Conklin, also, uh, the Conklin All American. And you see, they are very similar in size and overall shape, but this one doesn't have the clip. And, sorry, I uncapped the pen, I don't know why. And also with the Penteo Bonito Oversize, although this pen is much bigger. When you uncap all the pens, let me see if they don't roll onto the floor. Let me put my hand here to avoid that. Okay. Let me align them a little bit. You can see their comparable sizes. So, it is quite a big pen. It becomes of the same size as the Parker Centennial Lufold and almost uh, and the Conklin All American gets almost the same size as that one. So you can really see it has a very nice size. It is a big pen, although it's not an oversized one. You can use it easily. Uh, additionally, it is a pen that is quite inexpensive. It costs seven, uh, around 25 euros on eBay and you can easily get them from China in two in three different finishes. Uh, additionally, it posts well, but in my opinion it becomes too large to write with the pen posted. I don't like to do it. I prefer to write like this with the pen and post it. It's big enough to do it. So, this is what I have to show you about the pen, the design of the pen. Now let me show you how it behaves on paper. And here we are with the pen and paper. And let's show you. By the way, let me just show you the material of this pen closer. And you see it has a lot of, lots of swirls and it has a very beautiful depth to it. it. It's a beautiful pen. So, let's go back to the paper. And this pen is the fully one. It skipped there, but I had it and kept it for a while during this review and so on, so it happened. So it is the fully one 017 Starry Night with M steel nib and the ink inside is the Sailor Gento Sutton which is a beautiful blue and the paper is the usual Rhodia dot pad and about the writing of the pen. I have to say this is an M nib and I would call it a true M nib. It is a little bit thicker on the down strokes than on the side strokes, which is nice, I would say. The pen lays down an interesting amount of ink on paper, as you can see, so it is quite wet and writes really well. It is a very smooth nib, but you can't find any really personality on this nib. But it is very smooth, very well tuned. It really is a very, it is a very pleasant nib to use. About the line variation, you can try to force it, and you can have some if you press it hard, but you have to press hard on paper. So I don't think that's how you should work with the pen. Then, upside down, it is smooth and it writes. It may have some hard start when writing upside down, but it really writes. So here you have the, the, the line when upside down and here you have the line on the 
regular way and if you press it a little bit harder you can even have uh, this is almost a broad I would say this is a medium and this is an extra fine so you can really have three line variations with this pen and I think that's that's a good thing so what would I say this is a pen not to be posted it is a pen with which you can write for very long time without getting tired it has a it is large enough here on the on the section so it's very pleasant to to hold but i think the most interesting part of this pen is the pattern of the material it is really beautiful it has a very nice pattern and also the nib the nib writes really well and this is the most important thing in a pen it delivers very well when writing and it looks great so what would you ask for more maybe a good price and it has it around 25 euros so i think this is a great addition to your collection would i buy this pen again yes i would this is this is a very beautiful and good example of the new Chinese pens. So, if you have some kind of uh, prejudice against Chinese pens, forget about it because there are lots of good pens and this is just one of them. So, I hope you liked the video. This is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you here next video. Bye.